Yo, what's yo. up, guys? <laughs> Jumped in on top of my I head. can't say yo. So, listen, guys. We're going to be doing these daily videos to upload to SugarWatt so we can communicate with you guys as Waterpalooza qualifiers come out. Um, this time of the year, especially with the way these qualifiers are coming out, changes will be made to your program daily. So we're making this to remind you guys to please check every day. Don't just look at it the night before because as workouts come out, we will change the programming to basically strategize and set the week how we think is best performed yeah even um we could even be making changes in the middle of the day so yep. like i don't even think it's about checking in the morning i think it's more about checking uh sugar wad prior to your training session to see if you made any changes considering how these workouts are all being released yep. so we're filming this on monday you guys will be seeing this tuesday uh today we will today tomorrow <laughs> Tuesday. We will be having you guys do workout number two first. So if you guys haven't seen it, it's uh, heavy cleaner jerks mixed with handstand walks or wall walks. Uh, this workout is an easier one to do in the beginning of the week. It's easier to repeat, we think. It is easier to recover from. The volume is not as high. You're not gonna be sore and beat up following this. Um, so it's a good one to start off the qualifier week with. It's also not a terrible one if you start the workout or you start warming up and if it's not there that day or shut that session, shut it down and move it to a later day as well. Yeah, for sure. So we wanted to remind you guys some quick things that we need to pay attention to is standards. Make sure you know what division you're in. Waterpalooza this year has changed the way you register and the leaderboards. Please, please, please be aware of that. Uh, be aware that the, the movement standards know if you need to film if you need to film guys know the setup know what box you have to tape and where you need to stand um, we will not be making five different versions of this video for every standard and movement you know where that's up to you guys you guys are athletes you guys should be able to figure that stuff out we're going to be putting one video out each day just giving like the brief overview of the workout and giving very brief suggestions not anything incredibly detailed yeah so let's start with that clean and jerk video you guys are uh, workout you guys are going to be doing first um our initial thoughts on this like danny said this is an easy one to uh shut down if you're not feeling it that day and because of that, and just because of the structure of the workout, the way it starts with one clean and jerk, we really, really, really suggest you guys take that first clean and jerk at a heavy single for the day. So your weightlifting work tomorrow will have you working up to at least 90%. The notes are if you're feeling good, you can take one heavier. Now, it doesn't mean max out before the workout. It means if you think 100% is there, you may want to take one at 95% before you start the workout. When you start that workout, three, two, one, you have 100% loaded on the bar, go for it. If you miss, guys, stop the clock, restart and start the over. workout. There's no, the, there's no harm in that. You guys can do that one, or two, three times, potentially if you're missing for a really small technical fault, you know? Um, if you do hit that 100%, obviously you're not gonna be able to stay there for five clean and jerk singles. You're gonna wanna move down. The majority won't. Yeah, majority of people will have to move down, but it's very simple to do. Have a number in your head. So in the past, we've had what we call a daily minimum. It's the number you're confident you can hit at any, at any point during a workout or not. It's usually somewhere between 88 to 90%. Um, that's a good rep range, I think, for singles two, three, four of this workout. Right, so once again, we're talking about hitting a heavy single for the day. The first one, singles two, three, four, going down four and then on the last rep, potentially going back Depending up. Depending on time. Right. So the the last thing you wanna do with this workout is get four good singles on and then miss your fit. Mm -hmm. So if you are feeling smoke, if your shoulders are fatigued, if you are out of breath, don't go up on the fifth thing. If you have time and you're like, I feel great, I have enough time to take a minute rest here, yeah, that's okay. Like we said, you know, worst case scenario, you redo this workout, but we want to avoid that if possible right i do think those handstand walks will be more fatiguing than we think they will yeah. um however i don't really know by how much now what i will say it is a considerable amount of handstand volume in a very short amount of time mm -hmm. um, we have not seen people test this yet um, so there could be some changes to our thoughts after we see some people go through it but i think in general um you should be safe in the jerk considering all the handstand walk volume. I don't think that's gonna hold you back that, that, that much. Yeah, I agree. 
Um, I think that's it. Yep. We'll be releasing one of these every day. Make sure you follow on IG or check your sugar water count. Um, and yeah, good that's luck, it. guys. Good luck, guys. Peace.